Hey everyone, a little holiday set from Stila today. These are miniature versions of the full size of the Stila Glitter and Glow Magnificent Metals Eye Liquid Eye Products. You get six shades and they're little minis. They're so cute. It comes in a really cute package. You can um, give it as a gift really easily. Really cute gift for people who love makeup. So in this set, these are kind of divided into sort of a satin sort of look and then a glitter sort of look. So these are more of a metallic satin, sort of a base color on your eye that you can put on your eye and then these are the actual glitters. So here's how they compare. This is a full size and this is the little small one. But really, unless you're wearing glitter every day, I don't think you're going to need a whole full size of really many of these colors. That's why I got this set. I have been really, really interested in and curious about the next to naughty, not color, however you say that. I've been really curious about this burgundy glitter here. I haven't felt like I needed to buy the full size because I know it's not something I'm going to wear very often. I have not worn my full size of the other colors I have very often. I, the minis are fine with me and this way I have a whole range of colors of these without spending money on the full size product. There is one repeat that I already have in here. The smoldering satin is another mini in here but I'm just going to give that to somebody. I will swatch all of these for you and I'm going to show you two different eye looks. One with the color called Twig and Kitten. And then today, live on this video, I'm going to put the Next to Nate color on my lid. That's why I wore a burgundy eyeshadow today. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Re Renaissance. Okay, here are our swatches. So these more um, satin shades, the more metallic shades go on very smooth on, and they're very cold feeling. They're wonderful to put on your eye. They feel wonderful. And then they dry down after a while and they just stay on so well. You'd think with something like this, that's sort of a thicker product that it would just really, you know, not last. It would flake off. It would... This is the color called Twig. This is the color called Grace, and this is the color called Kitten. Great. And I want you to notice something about these glitters that is kind of, um, it's kind of different. Okay, we have here, next to Knot, Smoldering Satin, and Peachy Sheen. Now, if you will notice on these three glitter colors, this one and this one are not really backed very well. It's sort of a clear liquid with colored glitter in it. Here it is a clear liquid with sort of a burgundy tint to it and then the burgundy glitter on top. The smoldering satin, however, is more backed, I would say. It, it's not just glitter. It has a layer in the liquid that is more pigmented. And that's what I've noticed when I've been playing with my, uh, the ones that I have in the full size. The color called Bronzed Bell and the color called Smoldering Satin. Both have sort of a background tint to them. And then you have the glitter. So that makes them easy to put on your eye just as by themselves. You can just put them on without anything on underneath there. So while you can on the satin, colors up here wear these by themselves on the lid. You can with a few of these on the bottom in this set, but I would say not the peach one and not really the next to naughty. I think it's going to end up being sheer with pieces of glitter. Let's put this guy on my lids. Oh, this will be fun. So the best way to put these on I have found is with a flat eyeshadow brush. Something very flat and smooth and you can just smooth them on that way. The best thing I can tell you is to just go ahead and start patting them on and then spread them around with this brush. They do set up fairly quickly. So your question is, if you put the satins on, can you put the glitters on top of them or will the glitters melt through the satins? Yes, you can. And I'm going to show you in my video in just a second how I did apply that that way. I use, you can put the glitters on top of matte eyeshadows or any other kind of eyeshadow. It is not going to take that off or melt through it. As long as you're not swiping, don't swipe your color on, pat these on. Okay, I'm going to pat this into place. It's probably going to end up covering up some of my eyeliner, so.
Okay, look at that glitter. This would be so nice for some kind of a Christmas party, New Year's Eve, etc. to put this on. And you can see it has not disturbed the um, undercoat of my Anastasia. I would be sure to pat though and not rub or glide. You do want to sort of let this dry before you're opening your eyes a whole lot, moving your eyes a whole lot because it will transfer up into your crease, etc. I didn't put it up as high over here, so I'm going to put a little bit more on. Put a little right through there. Okay, super, super pretty, super crazy glitter. I love it. So pretty. This stuff stays in place too. It doesn't really rain down on your eye as it dries or anything like that. I love this little set. I think it's just an awesome set. It's so gifty especially for people who would not, you know, maybe go out and buy a full size of glitter for themselves. Get this for someone who likes to play with glitter but doesn't really need a whole case of it. Okay, just to show you that you can put the glitters right on top of the satins. I'm gonna put the peachy one, peachy sheen, on top of this little puppy right here. That is the um, twig and I'm gonna pat. I'm not gonna smear, I'm gonna pat. And there you go. That really makes a pretty combination, doesn't it? I didn't even think about that, wow. So you've seen this one. Let me show you how I did a twig and kitten eye earlier this week. Okay, I wasn't real sure how this was gonna work out. So I started out putting this color called twig out in my outer corner and in my inner corner and then putting the color called kitten in the middle. Well, that looked ended up looking kind of messy, I thought. And I did not think that if I put twig on and then put kitten on on top of it, that kitten would cover up the twig, but it did. So I, I experimented on that with this eye. This is the eye before that and so now I'm going to go back and make them look more the same. I'm going to put this all over my lid. I do have a little bit of a crease color up here and up here. And that is the from the Lorac Mega Pro 4 palette, a uh, color called Mocha and I'm going to pat this in over my whole lower lid. This almost has a burgundy cast to it. I think it's really pretty. It's a very deep dark color. So the important thing to know is that these do cover each other. Now you don't need a lot of this product. It will spread very nicely. I don't want to look around too much and smear it all over the top of my eyelid. But it will cover. You see it's covering that and it's just giving a glow right on the lid there. I did let the um, twig set just a little in between. I wouldn't let it be too liquidy still or the, um, I think they're gonna smear together too much. So let me fix this crease. I'm gonna bring it down here and buff that edge out a little bit there too. Very dark. I'm going to use a little highlighter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And that is going to be in the color called Starburst. That's just gonna be right under here. So here is look number one from the Stila Glitter and Glow little mini collection. This is using twig and then kitten in the middle of the eye. I think it's pretty. Man, I'm loving this next to naughty, next to not, however you say it so much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wear this more often, wear it to the mall, you know, with my full on glitter like this, yeah. I'll be sure to wear it to my kid's carpool. That's, that's the best idea there. Okay, so get this little mini set. It's just so cute. So many pretty colors. Good basic colors too. Nothing, you know, besides this one. The other ones are very basic and very more wearable. You can put a, you know, another powder eyeshadow on in your crease and you're good to go on these. They're just really, really nice. Coming soon, my Pat McGrath Labs extravaganza, the all three of the new eyeshadow palettes. I'm very thrilled about that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe so I can continue to do these videos if you like. 
and I'll see you next time.